In the last video, we were able to write down this triangle of binomial coefficients based on the recurrence relation we discovered. Next, I want to show you another interesting pattern. As long as x plus y is not 0, x plus y to the 0th power is equal to 1. x plus y to the first power is equal to x plus y. Notice that the coefficients of each of the variables is just 1. x plus y squared, you probably know, is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. The coefficient on x squared is a 1, the coefficient on xy is a 2, and the coefficient on y squared is a 1. Next, let's try to figure out what x plus y cubed is, even though you can already probably figure it out. Rather than memorize a formula for this, we're going to actually use the distributive property. So this is x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. For each of the three factors, we are going to choose an x or a y. So the options are x, 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 y, x, y, x, y, x, 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 y, 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 x, y, 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 x, and y, y, y. Typically, at this point, we would regroup our terms, so we have 1x cubed, which is the one way to choose 3x's. We have 3x squared y's, which is the number of ways to choose 2x's out of 3 factors. We have 3xy squareds, which is the number of ways to choose 2y's, and 1y cubed, which is the number of ways to choose 3y's. Of course, these are the coefficients in the third row of the binomial triangle. And you can check for yourself that x plus y to the fourth power is x to the four plus four x cubed y plus six x squared y squared plus four x y cubed plus y to the fourth. All of this can be summed up by the binomial theorem, which says that x plus y to the nth power is the sum of all of the n choose r's times x to the n minus r times y to the r. Because binomial coefficients are symmetric, it really doesn't matter which one's x and which one's y, so long as their powers add up to n. As an example, let's calculate 1 minus x to the fifth power. Here, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative x. Since this binomial is being raised to the fifth power, I'm going to need six rows of the binomial triangle. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 4 plus 1 is 5. And the last number is 1. Therefore, this polynomial is 1. The binomial theorem also serves as a pretty slick proof technique. For example, we can use it to prove that the sum of all the binomial coefficients along a fixed row n sum to 2 to the n. The proof is in noticing that the sum is the same as the sum from 0 to n of n choose r times 1 to the n minus r times 1 to the r. According to the binomial theorem, this is just 1 plus 1 to the nth power. In other words, we're using the binomial theorem where x and y are both equal to 1. Of course, 1 plus 1 is 2, and that completes the proof.